Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. When I started this channel, I never expected that one of the coolest and most rewarding things was that I would become friends with some of my subscribers from halfway around the world. The home theatre that you just witnessed belongs to a bloke that I met and I'm stoked to call my mate over in Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. Matt Ording. I met Matt on a Facebook forum that he posted on for Youthman Crew. I'll leave a link to Youthman's channel up in the description, although I'm sure he needs no introduction. But one day I was going through the forums and I saw a picture that was posted by Matt that caught my eye. It was an amazing shot of the front soundstage where he had these awesome Klipsch THX 8000L speakers, which was something that I've been looking at doing and it caught my eye straight away. Now he posted something about tuning his subwoofers and I think I posted back that I knew nothing about how to tune his subwoofers, but I really liked his soundstage. And that's where it all began. He messaged me back and then we started talking and we realized we had a lot of things in common. And that was when our friendship began. And yeah, unbelievably, he's halfway around the world and we have so many things in common, obviously starting with the home theater. We have our love of beards. He, we would share beard photos and beard tips on how to groom our beards. Our wives think we're nuts, but you know, that's how it is with us blokes. We also tried to bridge some of the cultural gaps between our two countries, Australia and America, sharing some of our favorite breakfast treats. I was amazed that a biscuit is not what we call biscuits over here. It's like, they're more like cookies over here, but over there it looks like a giant scone. And he was showing me things like you put chicken and eggs and all sorts of things on it, which blew my mind. After getting to know Matt and seeing what an awesome guy he is, just humble, super generous, a really genuine guy, I thought that maybe a way to give back to him was to do a tour of his home theater. As you can imagine, being halfway around the world, this was gonna be tough. And Matt was nervous about the idea at first, Obviously he has, like most of us do, misgivings about our rooms and often look at the flaws rather than all of the positives and the things that we enjoy in our theatre room. But I don't know about you guys, if you just saw the intro that I just made for his home theatre, he shot all of that footage for me and it was amazing that he did that for me because there is no way I was going to be able to do it being 8,000 miles away. But he did a fantastic job, he followed all the directions that I gave him and I was able to cut that epic montage that you just saw of his room. But without any further ado, I think we should get into Chip's home theatre tour. And yes, I say Chip because Chip is Matt's fur baby and he's probably Matt's owner actually. So that's why this home theatre tour is dedicated to Chip. Of course, it's Matt and Kate's home theatre but it's absolutely going to be 100% dedicated to Chip. Matt's love of clips began when his dad brought home a pair of KG4s. And if you know the KG4s, they're actually still really popular on the used market. As an adult, Matt had always dreamed of having his own home theatre. And when he got married to his wife Kate and they moved into their first apartment, they used those KG4s as their first set of speakers. And when they moved into their current home in 2016, Matt and Kate were fortunate enough that it already had a media room in it down in the basement. And this is where Matt's obsession with home theater began. To give you a breakdown of the room, it's 12 feet wide by 22 feet deep, and the seating position to the screen is 12 feet. While he was happy with the existing in-wall system, Matt replaced the subs with two SVS PB2000s which made a huge difference to the experience. Having eyed out the clips reference in wall series for quite some time now, this was the perfect time for Matt to pull the trigger on it and upgrade all of his speakers. The install was a 5.2 setup, although he felt that they were just a little too high in the wall, he lived with it until January of 2020 and decided to move them down, having to learn how to cut drywall and patch it, but the difference was night and day after the change. This also meant adding an acoustically transparent screen so the center channel was able to be moved to the correct height. But by now, Matt was well and truly on a quest for perfection and was itching to change the system over to a 7.2. After contacting a local AV company so that he could purchase some in-ceiling speakers, he found that they were out of stock. And this gave him the perfect opportunity to look into getting the THX in-wall speakers that he'd always wanted. These are specifically the Klipsch THX Ultra 2 in-wall speakers. In Matt's own words, the speakers are incredible all round. The design, aesthetics, and the fact that the speakers were fully enclosed meant that no more dust was getting inside the speakers. But the main thing was the sound. They sounded incredible. And he loves the way that they look in the wall with the grill off, with the silver on the woofer complementing the paint color very nicely. I've been fortunate enough to hear some of these through videos that Matt sends me sometimes when we're up chatting 
late his night, early my morning. And I can tell you, even through the iPhone speakers, you can tell that there is such a big sound in that room. The speakers are typical Klipsch and really efficient. So again, in Matt's own words, his ears will give out before the Sony AVR does. Around the time of installing these speakers, Matt found the Facebook page for Youth Man. And on that page, he quickly learned about REW and what it could do to help him fix some of the acoustic issues in his room. There was a terrible flutter echo that had been driving him crazy since 2016 when they bought the house. And with the COVID-19 lockdowns, it was perfect timing to build the panels and get the subs dialed in. These acoustic panels are 48 inches high and 16 inches wide. And Matt made nine of them costing around $200 with some spare materials left over in case he needs to make more for himself or for friends. And the difference was night and day once he installed them and did the room correction. He spent over 15 hours in REW learning and figuring out how it all worked and it was well worth the effort. After getting the hardware set up, it became obvious that the subs were fighting each other between 42 and 46 hertz, and then again at 65 and 71 hertz, giving a reduced output over using a single sub. After alignment, there was a five decibel spread in the sub output from 15 hertz to 80 hertz, which is fantastic. These PB2000 sound amazing now, and almost like there are two more subs in the room. So the current configuration and gear that Matt has in his home theater is as follows. For his ear level speakers, Matt is rocking a 7.2 Klipsch in-wall speaker system with THX 8000Ls for the front sound stage, as well as THX 8000S for the two side surrounds. For the rears, he's running Klipsch THX 5002S as he has complications running in walls as there is no rear wall. The projector is the Sony VPL HW45SC, which is a 1080p projector. Matt uses the PlayStation 4 for playing Blu-rays and an Nvidia Shield as both his Plex server and streaming box for services like Netflix, utilizing gigabit internet. And the cool thing with the Shield is that it allows for audio pass-through, so no need for any transcoding in Plex, and the AVR can handle all of the sound processing. The AVR is a Sony STR-DN1040, which has more than enough power for these Klipsch THX in wall speakers. To control the home theater, there is a Logitech Harmony Elite. With these upgrades, Matt feels he can finally call this a home theater instead of a media room, and something that he and his wife Kate can be super proud of. His favorite scene to demo when he has family and friends over is from John Wick 2 in the catacombs. He's played it for me through the iPhone on Facebook Messenger, and yes, of course, there is no way that you can hear it in the way it is being played, but you can tell, like I've heard recordings through phones and you can just tell when there's that amazing sound in the room. But like anyone that's into this hobby, there will always be plans for upgrades. Some of these things for Matt include tidying up some of the cable management that he's got. He's got plenty of space in that little room behind the theater, as well as an upgrade to a more powerful Plex server. I'm trying to convince him on Synology, but I guess we'll see on that one. He also would like to finish off a second step up for a riser on the back row which would need to be carpeted along with some new seating. If I can convince him, I think some LifeX lighting would also go a long way in his room. We've checked his canned lights and I do think that they will take an Edison screw and he'll be able to put LifeX lights in there and then I'll actually help him program it so that like in my theater when you press pause and play, you can get the dimming effect and the lighting up effect to come. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know how I use lighting to create different moods and themes in my room. I'll leave a link up there if you're interested in learning more about that. Matt would also love to change to some powered recliners. However, he does have some issues trying to get power to the middle of the room. There are options and I believe he's gonna be talking to some contractors to see how we can get that done. But at the moment, it's not super high on his priority list. The biggest upgrade that I think Matt is looking at doing is putting some in-ceiling speakers for Dolby Atmos. I know there are some challenges due to the nature of the room and the fact that there are pipes running and he had a very difficult time initially when he was trying to put in his rear surround speakers. But as I've gotten to know Matt over a bit of time, I can see he's a really persistent guy and he will work out a way to do it. Before we go, here's another tour of his room. So make sure that you stay tuned and watch that before clicking off the video. Righto guys, thanks for watching the video. Show Matt some love by clicking that like button down below and leaving a comment letting us know what you think about his room.
If you have a home theater and you would like to be featured on the channel, please drop me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get in touch with you. We also have a Discord community which is growing nicely and you feel free to join that and leave some comments down in there and I'll let you know how you can go about applying to be on the channel. Again guys, a very big thank you for watching. I'd love to give Matt a huge thank you for allowing me to show off his room, especially because in the beginning I know he wasn't too keen on it, but I know you all, all agree with me that his is one of a kind home theater room and it looks amazing. So yeah, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this and you'll catch me in the next video. Bye for now.